Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks as always for tuning in. In today's video, I'll show you a highly effective grafting technique, especially useful if you've struggled with grafting in the past. The most important factor in grafting success is the condition of your scion wood. Today, I'll explain how to artificially prepare high quality scions and how to time your grafting for the best results. We'll be using avocado as our example, because it's one of the most requested topics by viewers like you. Preparing the scion wood 10 days before grafting. Start by pinching off the growing tip of the scion branch about 10 days before grafting. This action encourages new lateral shoots. It's based on a tree's natural tendency for apical dominance where the top bud controls growth. But once you pinch it off, nearby buds get activated to make up for the lost height. About 10 days later, those buds will begin to swell. That's exactly what we want. As those new buds emerge, they start producing auxin, a plant hormone that promotes successful graft union formation. In avocados, you typically get three flushes of new growth spring, summer, and fall. So plan your pinching 10 days before a growth flush. Once the buds swell nicely, the scion is ready to be used. Winter is not ideal for grafting because the branches are dormant and don't grow well in the cold. I sometimes graft even in winter by checking the tree's condition, but spring is best. Ideal grafting temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius. 77 degree Fahrenheit. Time it right with new bud growth and your success rate will go way up. Repeated pinching also encourages strong low branching growth in young avocado trees. When pruning, aim to cut at a node. This helps the wounds heal cleanly. Shaping the Scion. Once the buds are swollen, be extra careful not to damage them while preparing the scion. For this video, I'll be doing a veneer graft. Sharpen one side flat and the other side at an angle of about 30 degrees. After shaping, I wrap the scion in parafilm tape first, because we're grafting outdoors and want to avoid moisture loss. Since the buds are already swollen, wrapping first makes the process easier. Preparing the rootstock. Next, let's work on the rootstock. If the cut surface has oxidized and turned yellow, recut it cleanly with a saw. Then, use a knife to bevel the edges all the way around. This helps prevent tearing from wind exposure outdoors. When cutting into the rootstock, pay close attention to your grip and pressure. Here's my technique. Hold the knife in your right hand. Use your left thumb to push the blade. Your left index finger supports the knife while the other three fingers grip the rootstock. This position keeps your fingers away from the blade, safe and precise. Also, don't press straight down. Instead, 
apply a gentle diagonal force for a smoother, easier cut. Inserting the scion. When inserting the scion, make sure the cambium layers align. That's key for success. I personally recommend aligning the right side of the scion and rootstock. Why? Because if you wrap the grafting tape clockwise, it applies pressure on the right side, keeping alignment secure. If you wrap counterclockwise, the pressure will slowly push the scion left, ruining the alignment. So, right side match, wrap clockwise. Preventing dry out. After grafting, cover the graft with a plastic bag to prevent it from drying out. To protect it from sunburn, apply shade tape over the bag, but not all over. Leave a small window so you can peek inside and check on the graft later. After care, one month, two months, seven months later, I'll also show you how the graft looks after one month, two months, and seven months. You'll see how well the graft developed over time. After seven months, the tree has grown quite a bit, so I pinched it again to control height. This helps shape the tree into a strong spreading structure that's easier to manage. I grow and study fruit trees here in Japan, including avocados. And yes, the variety shown today is one of our original cultivars. On this channel, I openly share everything from grafting techniques to daily pruning and maintenance tips no holding back if you found this video helpful or interesting please consider subscribing to the channel thanks so much for watching until the end see you in the next video